Welcome to Popcorn Dreams Gut Reactions. If you're looking for a quick spoiler free review, you are in the right place. Brahms The Boy 2 is coming out next week, so we thought we'd take a quick look back at the original movie, The Boy. It was directed by William Brent Bell and written by Stacey Mina. A young woman is hired to babysit an elderly couple's porcelain doll who they refer to as their child. Lauren Cohen is Greta Evans, Rupert Evans is Malcolm, with Jim Norton and Diana Hardcastle as Mr. and Mrs. Helsher. With what they have to work with, yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. This is quite an adept cast, so it's just a shame that what they are working with is so uninspired. The concept of a creepy porcelain doll in a large old house with large expansive grounds seems like it was absolutely a no-brainer for just atmosphere in bucket loads, but there just isn't any. You could film this in a modern day flat and it would just, it would be exactly the same. This horror film is just the most generic horror film I think I've ever seen. There's so many different routes they could have gone with what is a, quite an interesting build up. That initial premise that the woman comes to the house thinking she's going to babysit a child and then gets presented with this porcelain doll with all of these rules is, is great. It's brilliant. It's a wonderful setup. And they just didn't have any ideas or originality or any kind of concept of where to go with it beyond your average Friday afternoon kind of horror movie. It's not even got any real great jump scares in it. We've all seen this movie a hundred times in the last 20 years. It's no different from a Ouija or The Gallows or any of the kind of attractive young people in a sort of pseudo scary situation that just has no atmosphere and the characters are super shallow and we don't really care about them. Most of those films, like if you think of paranormal activity films, it's the jump scares and it's the style of the camera work that, that elevates that movie. You're with paranormal activity, the camera work being so still, you're then searching the screen trying to find what's going to come out, what's going to get you, and then you have that jump scare hit you. And that's, that's great, it's a lot of fun, but this doesn't even have that. It just... I don't, I, I don't want to rag on everyone that's involved in it, but the actors really are given nothing really to do. Their characters are very bland. Like I said, it's just generic horror movie. Do I recommend it? Well, it's fine. It's just not very original or unique, and it, it doesn't have any sort of color or flavor to it. I just want a script that has a little bit of ingenuity just a, a, or some direction where they, they had this idea and they thought of somewhere new to go with it rather than just going the, the simplest or the most obvious route. Even if you're just wanting a film to watch with your boyfriend or girlfriend, cuddled up on the sofa, it's, you know, got a little bit, a little bit scary, a few little jump scares, there's better than this, really. It's a shame. Even if you wanted a creepy doll movie, I'd rather watch something like Puppet Master than watch this. So yeah, I'd have to say no, don't bother, don't watch it. Brahms is not like other children. It is very important that you follow these rules. Be good to him and he'll be good to you. So that was our gut reaction to The Boy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Tell us what you thought about the movie in the comments below and we'll see you next time on 
gut reactions.